Right, today we're gonna walk through how I got this shot in the backyard using stacked layers in Photoshop. The basic concept is you get a base shot of the dog and then you have multiple shots using fill flash to highlight certain areas in the background. Let's go take a look. Okay, here's the plan. The plan is to get a shot of Gomer, which is Olive's brother, through those flowers there, shooting back into here. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did with Pino's shot, which is I'm gonna get the shot of Gomer and then I'm gonna do various flash shots around the background to try to make it look good. So it'll be a stacked shot and uh, let's see if it works. Haven't worked a lot with Gomer. So uh, hopefully we can make it work. Here we go. Here we go. Trying to get the set shot of Gomer. All right, stay, go, 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 good boy. You sit, you sit, sit. Good boy, stay, stay. Stay, stay, boy buddy, stay, stay, <laughs> you get, you getting bugs? Okay, all right, you're gonna get treat? Okay, here we go, okay, good boy, yeah. Good boy. I have no clue what's been recording and what's not because the battery ran out. So I'm just running back here trying to get pop shots that I can blend in for the main shot. All right, let's see if we can get it. <clears throat> All right, random shots. Here we go. That one just illuminated the pillow. All right, there it is. I probably popped 10 to 15 different shots of light all around the background. And then I'll choose the ones that work just to add texture and uh, light to the background. So hopefully this will work out. This has been a bit of a cluster bleep, but let's see if it works. Here we go. All right, let's take a quick walk through the shots and see what we got. So I'm gonna start here in Lightroom. And what you see here is the, just the shots I got of Gomer. So that, that one might have been the one we used. This one, he was a little, little offset. Didn't like that one as much. There's one of all of his first shots. Oh, and by the way, I didn't get any footage of Olive because the camera battery ran out at some point and I didn't know it, but uh, the process is exactly the same. Like that one, um, that's the one I ended up using there. I just like how she looks actively engaged. She looks very engaged with the camera. Um, that one's pretty good. Still likes the other one just a little bit better. That one's not bad as well. And then here's the uh, shots where I started using the fill flash. On this one, you can see it on the pillow and the couch here. And then that was a secondary one I didn't end up using. Here's one where I'm just shooting the side of the chair. And then the bottom of this chair Um, and then just very subtly on the fence here. And then I did 
shoot the lavender, but I wasn't as into that one when I tried to brush it on in Photoshop. One thing I'll point out as I'm talking about these fill flash is it's, it's really just for subtle little textures inside the photo. And the reason I like to do it is because here's the photo I used of all of, and that's great. I like it. But one thing you'll notice is that there's a lot of dark and so nothing stands out. You can't really see what the chair is. Here's the other chair, it's just kind of a black blob. And so really using the fill flash is just to get little subtle textures, just to give little bits of depth. It's, it's a very subtle use of the fill flash. All right, so I'm gonna jump over here into Photoshop and so I'll start here. So here's the, here's the shots I used again, the couch shot, the side of the chair, the bottom of the chair. Um, I didn't end up using that one. That's the brighter lavender shot. And then just a little subtle shot on the fence and a little bit on the lavender. All right, so here is Gomer's finished shot. And if you look over here, you'll see all the layers stacked, the base layer at the bottom, and then four layers stacked on top. And then I'm just brushing in all the little subtle things I showed before. And it just gives it a lot more depth, just, just really kind of puts a nice little fine refinement into the background. Here's Olive shot. And again, you see this, I used the same thing, the chair, the chair here the fence, and then the couch. And it just gives it a little pop. One thing I'll point out is you, you see this edge over here. When I auto aligned the layers, like a dummy at some point after I had taken the base shots of the dogs, I think I zoomed in or zoomed out the lens for some stupid reason. And so that's why you see here, and I just cropped that out back in Lightroom. All right. And so that's it, just using subtle little pops of light to create some depth and texture in the background. I like how these came out. I'm gonna send it over to Gomer's mom now. Hopefully she likes it. So go out there, have fun, try new things, and uh, maybe give that technique a shot. All right, talk to you later. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain